In today's show, Bitcoin price hits a seven-day low as U.S. warns of highly elevated CPI data. That's right. We just dropped below $20,000. I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis and quoting senior market analysts at Cubic Analytics. Psst. The U.S. dollar currency index is telling us that inflation hasn't peaked, and quoting crypto analyst Mikhail Van de Pop, no confirmation at all on the bullish divergence so far, but it's something to keep an eye on with CPI approaching for the euro and the dollar, and then for Bitcoin too, needs to reclaim some levels before more conclusions can be made. And this just in breaking news, the number of Bitcoin addresses ever created hits a billion with an epic milestone. Also in today's show, the Bank of Russia opposes private stable coins in the country. That's right, Russia's central bank sees the digital ruble as the only technological payment option to support. Also in today's show, capitulation is ongoing, but markets are not at the bottom yet, according to Glassnode Analytics, quoting them here. For a bear market to reach an ultimate floor, the share of coins held at a loss should transfer primarily to those who are at the least sensitive to the price and with the highest conviction. Also in today's show, top crypto strategist says explosive Bitcoin rally imminent despite the latest Bitcoin pullback and shares his target. As you can see here in this sharp high credible crypto, he expects Bitcoin to climb as high as $32,000 in the near term with an upside potential of over 61% from Bitcoin's current prices. Also in today's show, Arthur Hayes, the ex-BitMEX CEO, reiterates and doubles down on his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. As he shares here, the doom loop has begun. One US dollar equals one euro. Prepare yourselves for YCC and Bitcoin to $1 million. But please be patient. These things take time. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, all the major cryptos are currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here are crypto news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And be sure to check out Crypto News Alert Shorts. I release a new shorts video every day here in the YouTube channel. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And they have a new promo exclusive to my YouTube channel where you can get up to $1,000 in Bitcoin when you buy, sell, or trade crypto with BlockFi by using my referral link in the description right down below. They're doing this promo because they really want to promote trading on their platform, which is the number one crypto platform to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. They offer instant trades with ACH. You can trade 24-7, 365 days a year, and you can even set up repeat trades to automate your crypto portfolio, which is pretty cool. Another flagship product that they have is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards. Visa credit card where you can earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days, then an unlimited 1.5% Bitcoin back on everything you buy. Thereafter, there are also no annual fees and no foreign transaction fees. And you can see if you are approved with no impact to your credit score. So to take advantage of this and to claim up to $1,000 in free Bitcoin, go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below. And let's get this crypto shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Make some noise in the live chat. The Bitcoin dropped below $20,000 as Bitcoin carried through threats of new local lows on July 12th as the White House warned of highly elevated inflation. Here you're looking at the Bitcoin one-hour candle chart. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets Point Trading View showed Bitcoin approaching 19500 prior to the Wall Street Open, down over 4% on the day. And having failed to hold 20300 as support, Bitcoin appeared to react badly to comments on the inflation outlook from the White House press secretary. Markets were already primed for higher than expected figures for June from the CPI index, which made new 40-year highs in May. So on Wednesday, we will have new CPI inflation data, and we will expect the headline number, which includes gas and food, to be highly elevated, mainly because gas prices were so elevated in June, she told reporters at a press briefing on July 11th. Now the trip to 19500 meanwhile marked Bitcoin's lowest levels in a week quoting crypto analyst Mikhail Van de Pop, tomorrow is going to be decisive. Honestly saying, sell the rumor, buy the news, seems to be an implication. Charts to watch tomorrow, the US dollar currency index and the yields on government bonds plus the reaction on Brent oil. And this morning he updated us here, no confirmation at all on the bullish divergence so far, but it's something to keep an eye on with CPI approaching for the euro and the dollar. And then for Bitcoin too, needs to reclaim some level before conclusions can be made. Now, particularly high inflation risk losses across risk assets 
due to the associated risks of central bank monetary tightening to tame it, as is already being seen, and the U.S. dollar currency index often makes decisive moves upwards in times of financial weakness. As Caleb shares here, psst, the U.S. dollar currency index is telling us that inflation hasn't peaked. And so someone responded, what about the price of oil going down? Minor impact on inflation. And Caleb responded, regarding oil and commodities in general, I think the recent price decline will be month over month deflationary, but still year over year inflationary. On net, this will likely be disinflationary for June 2022 CPI data, but it is only one component. Now, the U.S. dollar currency index stood at 108.47 at the time of this recording, having spiked higher into the new week to reach its strongest level since October 2022, which you can see here in this chart. And quitting crypto analyst Mikhail Van de Pop, Bitcoin couldn't hold that support zone and correction happened, including taking all of the lows and liquidity. Not interested into longs going into CPI tomorrow. Personally looking at a region of 20300 and or 19300 to the $19,500 region. Meanwhile, Ethereum price sheds 8 on altcoins, the daily losses trended over 5%, but for the top 10 cryptos by market cap, led by Ether, down 8% in the past 24 hours, Ethereum traded at $1,060 at the time of this recording, approaching daily support levels in place since mid-June. And quoting Rec Capital, if things stay the same and altcoins continue to struggle to breach key resistances, altcoins may need to experience at least an extra negative 30% of downside. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts and this just in breaking news. The number of Bitcoin addresses ever created hits 1 billion. So congratulations as this is an epic milestone for the king crypto. And now let's discuss the Bank of Russia opposing private stable coins in their country in a fresh episode of the long-standing battle between the Central Bank of Russia and the country's Ministry of Finance. Representatives of the former have criticized the latter's idea of supporting the stable coins, which some private investors have sought to launch in the country, and according to the local media, an unnamed representative of the central bank dismissed talk of Russia-based stablecoins started last week by the Ministry of Finance's Director of Financial Policy Department, Ivan Chep Eskov. Back then, Ivan voiced his ministry's support for creating stablecoins tied to the asset, like the ruble, gold, oil, or grain. He called it the right path for developing new technology and urged private companies to try this kind of financial tool if they find it necessary. Now, the CBR speaker said that private stablecoins are characterized by higher risk because the pool of the underlying assets doesn't belong to the issuer. They also stated that there is no guarantee, a redemption as a part of the issuer, and the price of stablecoin isn't really that stable. And in line with the traditional CBR message, the bank's rep noted that the ruble remains the only legal payment method in the country and stated their belief in the digital ruble, combining all of the advantages of digital payments and the reliability of national currency, which is a joke, right? As local industry experts sometimes emphasize, the central bank digital currency project lies at the heart of the CBR's suspicion towards all of the private cryptocurrencies. And on June 29th, the head of the CBR's Department of Financial Technologies, Kirill Pranin, acknowledged the possibility of crypto mining legalization under certain conditions, namely the export of all the mine assets to foreign exchanges. And the Ministry of Finance's Ivan didn't miss a chance to disagree, noting that the current geopolitical challenges for Russia's miners who want to sell their crypto abroad. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding the digital ruble and the bank of Russia opposing private stable coins in the country and the development of CBDCs? Let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down next way of the day, capitulation is ongoing, but markets are not at a bottom yet, says Glassnode Analytics. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the major alts are currently correcting. And in the red, we have Bitcoin down 3.5% for the day, trading under $19,900. We have Ether down a whopping 7% for the day, trading just above $1,070, while Binance Coin, XRP, Cardano, Solana, and Polkadot all correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Bitcoin wealth is being distributed from weak hands to strong hands due to the ongoing capitulation from retail investors as well as miners, signaling that the bottom may be close. The latest weak on-chain report from blockchain analytics firm Glassnode on Monday explains the market capitulations have been ongoing for about a month and that several other signals suggest bottom formations for the Bitcoin price. However, Glassnode analysts wrote that the bear market still requires an element of duration as long as long-term hodlers who tend to have a greater confidence in Bitcoin as a technology increasingly bear the greatest unrealized losses quoting them here, for a bear market to reach an ultimate floor, the share of coins held at a loss should transfer primarily to those who are at the least sensitive to the price 
and with the highest conviction, and they added that the market may need further downside risk to fully test investor resolve and enable the market to establish a resilient bottom. Also keep in mind that unrealized losses are losses in dollar value of a hodler's position before selling. However, one Bitcoin is still equal to one Bitcoin, so don't get it twisted. Glassnode made this assessment based on the observations that in the previous bear markets of 2015 and 2018, long-term hodlers held over 34% of the Bitcoin supply that was in unrealized loss. Meanwhile, the short-term hodler proposition accounted for just three to 4%. Now, currently short-term hodlers are holding 16.2% of the coins in loss, while long-term hodlers are holding 28.5% and coins are moving to new short-term hodlers who aim to speculate on the price but have less conviction about the asset. It added, this implies that as long-term hodlers scoop up more coins, they must have diamond hands, meaning they must not sell. And for analysts to note a true market bottom, now Cointelegraph echoed this idea, acknowledging that Delphi Digital also believes that more time is required under the current market conditions to call this the bottom. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Glassnode Analytics and Delphi Digital. Now, Bitcoin miners are selling coins is evidence that the market could be testing bottom ranges. Glassnode demonstrated that miners have sold almost 8,000 Bitcoins since late May, but have recently slowed spending to about 1,350 Bitcoin per month. And here you're looking at the Bitcoin miner capitulation tracking. Now, duration is again highlighted as a critical factor in determining where the market bottom could be during the 2018-2019 bear market. Miner capitulation took about four months months to mark the bottom. They have only been selling in 2022 for about a month or two. Miners still hold about 66,900 Bitcoin, so the next quarter is likely to remain at risk of further distribution unless coin prices recover meaningfully, the report concluded. An overall glass note noted that the market looks near the bottom, stating that it has many hallmarks of a later stage of a bear market, but that investors should be aware that further pain could be in store, and they leave us with this. Overall, a fingerprint of a widespread capitulation and extreme financial stress is certainly in place. So there you have it. And before I break down next story of the day, top crypto strategist says explosive Bitcoin rally imminent despite the latest Bitcoin pullback and shares his target. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting just above $880 billion with almost $58 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. The current Bitcoin dominance is 42.9% with the Ether dominance at 14.7%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have Quant leading the pack up 8.5% percent trading at $83.38, followed by Synthetics up 3.5% trading at $2.45, followed by Polygon slash Matic up 2.6% trading just above $0.56. Cents. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week, you can now see we're back in a sea of red, but we have Quant leading the pack up 43.8%, ICP up about 20%, and XCN up 14 0.2%. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we are currently rated a 16 out of 100 in extreme fear. Yesterday a 22, last week a 19, and last month a 14 in extreme fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity like we're witnessing right now. BTFD by that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. A closely tracked crypto analyst says he expects Bitcoin to pull off an explosive rally after Bitcoin's latest correction concludes. Synonymous crypto strategist Credible tells his 336,000 Twitter followers he expected Bitcoin to retrace from $22,000 to around $19,000 before igniting a massive rally to his target above $30,000. As he shares here in this chart on crypto Twitter, was expecting a rejection from the red and looking for a move down. We're about halfway to the ideal downside target in blue. Credible subscribes to the Elliott Wave Theory, a technical analysis approach attempting to predict the future price action by following crowd psychology that tends to manifest in waves. And with Bitcoin currently changing hands just above 19,800 at the time of this recording, Bitcoin appears to be close to hitting Credible's downside target for his plotted wave two corrective move. And in a recent video, the crypto analyst said a pullback to around $19,000 is healthy for the king crypto as it enables Bitcoin to print a bullish higher, lower setup quoting the analyst here, a retracement that deep is okay. A retracement that deep keeps the bullish count intact. And after retracing that deep and putting in a higher low, if you manage to come back above these highs and break $22,000, it is likely that this correction was a wave two, and we're getting a stronger wave to the upside. In that case, we're likely to rip past the above red region and confirm again, as from my last video, that our bottom is likely in. And we'll see that develop likely into a larger impulse structure. And at that point, reversal as well underway. So based on Credible's chart, he expects the King Crypto to climb as high as 
$1,000. In the near term, with an upside potential of over 61% from the current Bitcoin price action. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding his $32,000 Bitcoin price prediction? When do you feel this is likely to occur? Let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down final story of the day, Arthur Hayes, the ex Max CEO, reiterates and doubles down on his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And be sure to drop a comment to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, you can find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. We're currently receiving over a half a million downloads per month. My goal is to scale it to a million downloads per month. And I know with your help, we can reach that target. And of course, you can follow me on all the major social media platforms from Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, and TikTok. So wherever you at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. This man right here, Arthur Hayes, the ex BitMEX CEO, doubling down on his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. That's right, the former BitMEX CEO, Arthur Hayes, has doubled down on his uber bullish Bitcoin price prediction, claiming that the price of the world's largest crypto will eventually hit a whopping $1 million. That's right, the controversial entrepreneur urged his followers to be patient, and he added it would take time for the top crypto to reach the aforementioned milestone. When do you feel Bitcoin is likely to cross? that seven-figure milestone let me know in the comments below as reported by you today Hayes recently predicted that the Bitcoin price would touch a million dollars by 2030 he believes that Bitcoin would be able to reach that milestone because of the hodl culture users with a high level of conviction will not sell their hodlings since they anticipate significant price appreciation in the future that's right this one is dedicated to all my diamond hands and in the most recent tweet Hayes claims that the doom loop has begun, pointing to the fact that the euro and the dollar are close to reaching parity for the first time in two decades. And earlier today, the second most actively traded fiat currency in global foreign exchange markets dropped to a low of just above a dollar. The euro has lost roughly 15% of its value since the start of the year. And last Thursday, the European Central Bank confirmed that it has raised interest rates for the first time since 2011 due to high inflation. Well, at least they're admitting to inflation. Remember, for the longest time, inflation is transitory. There is no inflation, yada, yada, yada. However, it may be extremely challenging for the ECB to pull off the much coveted soft landing. So in the meantime, the greenback is enjoying extremely strong momentum with the US dollar index soaring to 108 earlier today, soaring to the highest level since October 2022. Ironic, isn't it? Bitcoin, on the other hand, is down 70% from its record all-time high it achieved last November at around $69,000. And quoting Arthur Hayes here from Crypto Twitter, the doom loop has begun. One US dollar equals one euro. Prepare yourselves for YCC and Bitcoin to $1 million. But please be patient. These things take time. Now he is obviously uber bullish on the King Crypto predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price. But he also says the YCC, which I believe is the Chinese UN blockchain, which may be something new. I'm not too familiar with it. If you're familiar with the YCC, let me know in the comments right down below. And Arthur Hayes adds here, a fairy tale of epic proportions is being written as my next installment of the Crypto Trader Digest. And it will be the Tour de France about JPY and the Euro yield curve control and the implications for cryptocurrencies. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding the ex Max CEO, Arthur Hayes, predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price within the next eight years by the year 2030? Let me know if you agree or disagree with the ex Max CEO. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Victor Torres as wrote, you're a legend, bro. Started listening to you and the 2020. Since then, I've quit my nine to five and began trading full time. You have been as consistent as ever. Thank you for the fire content daily. I'm here for the long haul. That's what's up, fam. Truly music to my ears. Much respect. I greatly appreciate your continued support. Keep stacking them sats. Our next featured comment comes from the pay window. Great info as always, JV. I like how you do an overview of what you'll be covering and then a summary. No one does that. It is very helpful. BTFD, you're very welcome, my friend. I appreciate the stellar feedback. 
Much love. And our third and final featured comment comes from J-Dub the Laker. JV, my newest crypto confidant. Love your work style and delivery. Also, I can tell by your article selection. You know what you're talking about. My guy, keep up the great work. I got your back, bro. Liking every vid. Hey fam, greatly appreciate the kind words and greatly appreciate your continued support. And of course, by liking the vid, you're helping out with the YouTube algorithm. The same thing for dropping comments. So I just wanna say one love and to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.